activate mini me. There she is. All as well. Hello, Sky. Welcome. Hello, hello. I think this is where we left off. I did some mod testing after last stream. So everything should be good. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I was working on Still in the Dark. Um, okay. We're waiting for Edie to return to us. We are not doing super great on weight. I really need to just sell a bunch of crud. Yeah, I should do that. Ask Paladin Ramos about the chain that binds. I am kind of curious. I don't usually go that far in this part of the quest to like usurp the, what's he called? Not overseer. The guy who runs the brother. <laughs> I don't usually do that because it's kind of a dumb decision <laughs> in the long run. Oh, hey there. Something I can help but you But I'm kind of curious what Ramos has to say. Um, one of the data store entries mentions the chain that binds. What is that? That's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. Wow, he's just like really willing to just give me Bye. information. <laughs> okay, can I use this terminal? No. Hold up. Now I'm interested. Are you okay, girl? Okay, she was like limping for a second. <laughs> um... I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yes. Evening. Okay. The Brotherhood Bunker is not an easy place to navigate. <laughs> Data store. Chain that binds. The chain that binds is the cornerstone of our organization, the rock that supports the great tree of the Brotherhood and its myriad branches. It holds that orders are to flow from on high down through the ranks. Obviously, God is the one who gives us our orders. No, an order from a superior must always be obeyed, and that their wisdom may be carried out without hesitation. Orders are to observe. The flow and not skip ranks. Okay, that's I mean that's very military military, so I don't Is this a problem? What is what is this quest doing? Return to Harden with the findings about the chain that binds. Help head palette and harden find a way to oust Oh Elder, that's what they're called. Elder McNamara. Uh let's go talk to Harden. Hey. I'm really curious where this is going. <laughs> Um, I am not going to usurp McNamara because he's okay. Um, like, he's not great, but he's fine. Let's see if I can find him. I think there's something about, like, maybe... They're gonna try to get McNamara to mess with the chain that binds or something? Wow, this is the saddest bedroom I've ever seen. My guy. You could put up a poster. This is very sad for you. You don't even have any food. Oh, sweetie. What is it outside? No wonder you're balding. Have you discovered anything? Um. Do you know anything about the chain that binds? 
Hi, Bam. Yes, we're in the Brotherhood. <laughs> I don't know if I saw you when you were streaming New Vegas if you, when you visited the Brotherhood. What did you think of them? Hi, Sky. Welcome. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, train the bites. I could hardly call myself head paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every initiate learns when they start training. What about it? That's so funny, Bam. I I get it. <laughs> I, I like Veronica. We actually did Veronica's companion quest last stream. So, um, we did help her somewhat. Uh, <laughs> we, we helped her come to terms with, uh, you know, the reality of her family. The rest can die in a fire. <laughs> oh, bam. Um, one of the few times an elder was dismissed was due to it. I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders, and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. Did you know there's a second part to it? Second part? What are you talking about? Oh, it says the superior is not allowed to give orders to the men under his subordinate. That is the standard procedure, yes. For example, McNamara gives orders to head scribe Taggart, who then relays further orders to the scribes. I wasn't aware that failing to do so was punishable, however. Interesting. If we can just find an instance where McNamara went around someone and gave orders to their subordinates, we'll have him. That's such a weird... <laughs> That's such... <sighs> That's very weird, okay? Like, I, I think I understand why it's a rule. But if he didn't even know about it, like, is it clear? Is it really an issue? Is it really a problem? I I do not understand why this is a thing in the Brotherhood. Um, Why do you dislike McNamara so much? It's not that I dislike the Elder, but I strongly disapprove of his current style of leadership. We're safe, yes, but at what cost? I, I will say, I do agree with Harden on that front. Uh, we kind of mentioned this last stream when we did Veronica's quest, which is like, he's not, he doesn't have the long-term uh, benefit of the Brotherhood in mind. He's just, he's so traditional and needing to stay in line with what the traditional Brotherhood values are. It's just, yeah. Oh, is Twitch lagging? Hopefully it's not my stream. I don't see any issues with the stream at the Mo, but yeah, let me know if anything uh, starts freaking out. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, Sky. We've had a pretty chill day so far. We have the day off, which is legit. Um, okay, that's good to know, Bam, for sure. Alright. Bye. I... Is your Wi-Fi being bad? Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not, um... I was walking as hell on my back, boss. Chill out, Raul. I, I am not going to usurp McNamara. McNamara is... While he's not cool in my book, he's at least better than Harden. A day off is heavenly. We don't get many days off in my, um at my work, unfortunately, but it's fine because they're really uh, understanding if you do need to take days off or if you want to take vacation I heard days. I special squad of rangers is on its way so. to the Vegas area. I guess the NCR is finally going to make up for it in that way. Legion. Hello. Uh, Lorenzo, bro. Where is Lorenzo? Loren... Hello? Loren, hello? Is he not here? Wait. Is he not? Maybe I have to wait? Since he has Edie? Hold on. I'm gonna wait for a bit because- actually I should probably just sleep because I'm playing hardcore. gonna sleep in the middle of the brotherhood uh bunker no big deal 
I have to wait a couple days before Edie can come back, so I think maybe that's why Lorenzo isn't there. Oh yeah, Sky. Like I, I know a lot of different stories and different people who have had trouble getting time off for basic necessities like taking care of loved ones, taking care of themselves, stuff like that. It's really unfortunate. Yeah, thankfully we don't have that problem too much. Um, should be ready in a few days. I guess maybe I should just... Maybe I'll wait on this since I need to talk to Lorenzo but he's not here. <laughs> Hello, outsider. Lorenzo. Yeah, I'll just I'll just come back in a few days, I guess, when Ed is back. Cause we gave Ed to Lorenzo so that Lorenzo could, like, probe her brain for tech or whatever. Let's go take a tour with Raoul. My hope is to do all of the companion quests, so might as well take him around the Mojave. Bam, what did you, um... What did you end up doing with the Brotherhood, by the way? Did you end up exploding the Brotherhood in the end? What's new? Not to worry, boss. I'm sure killing the boss of one of the families will in no way lead to savage, bloody reprisals against you and your loved ones. I love Raul. <laughs> um... Questions, boss? You mean you don't know everything there is to know already? You left him alone. Yeah, I'm leaving Edie with the Brotherhood to get some upgrades. Also, hold on one second, I need to pee. Uh, one second. <laughs>
So, Raul's... <laughs> Raul's companion quest is not really a companion quest. Raul... Raul and Lily both have very similar uh, companion quests. Um, Lily's is probably the weirdest to get to trigger, which is why I'm doing her last. <laughs> oh, what song was that? Um, it's actually one of the idol songs from the Nancy Drew games. It's from, okay, let me see if I can find it. I literally had it open. Here it is. Um, it's from The Secret of Shadow Ranch. If you look up The Secret of Shadow Ranch OST for Nancy Drew. Um, I don't remember which one it is, but it's it's one of those songs. I know! Nancy Drew, who'd have thought? Their, their music is surprisingly good in some of the games. Like, genuinely, it, it, it's a... It's a game about a ranch in Arizona, so I thought it was appropriate for this game. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so Raul's quest, you basically just have to talk to, like, two or three people in the Mojave, and then talk to Raul, and that's his quest. It's really, it's, it's like nothing, <laughs> which is whatever. <laughs> um, but I am going to, uh, can I even talk to him about, oh yeah. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? Tell me about yourself. Who are you? You forget about me already, boss? <laughs> You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? I mean, I did. My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Boss, usually when somebody gives you a name and nothing else, it's because that's all they want to give you. Okay, that's fair, Raul. I don't want to pry. So instead of prying, I'm actually just going to make you uh, feel bad about yourself. And then you're gonna you're gonna tell me your life story. <laughs> so one of the fools we gotta talk to is loyal. So we're back at the Nellis AFB with the boomers. Um, actually, loyal has some quests for us too, anyway. So might as well come over here, right? Oh, there's this chap. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Hi, Jack. Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Me? I work <clears throat> with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, I figure it's been a nice day. Yeah, a real nice day. Recover a lady? What are you talking about? Did I say that? Sometimes I just say stupid things. Sorry about that. Pearl will tell you when the time comes. If... I mean... I should really be going. Ah, Jack. <laughs> Oh, Edie has returned to Prim. There we go. Perfect. Now we can go get Edie and finish her quest. And then we can go talk to uh, Lorenz Bro. But while we're here. Hey there. Back from... Uh, I'm looking for ways to help out. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well... Ah, uh, forget it. Speech 35, where I come from, we discuss personal matters all the time, or confirmed bachelor. Uh, a personal matter, eh? Handsome guy like you, but there's a girl involved. You think I'm handsome? Wow. I wonder if she does too. There's an outpost near here. The signs say, Crimson Caravan? It seems like they carry things to and fro for people out there. Well, every once in a while, I watch the outpost through one of the spotter's binoculars. And sometimes there's this girl there. This special girl. And sometimes it's like she's watching me back with her binoculars. Except she's probably just watching Nellis. I haven't tried waving. 
I think this quest is so cute, but logistically, how how powerful are these these binos? Because they are so far apart. How are they seeing each other? Ha, ha, whatever. <laughs> oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. Yeah. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Aw. Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. But Jack is so cute. He's such a nice character. <laughs> I'll look into it. Stranger things have happened. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Just get on Tinder like the rest of us. Oh my god, are you... Moonwalking? <laughs> I mean, Jack, with moves like that, I don't see how any girl would say no. Okay, let's find Loyal. Loyal! We can bring him scrap metal. I think that gets us some general boomer fame and a little bit of money, maybe? Uh, I almost never do that because there's so many other ways to get boomer fame. I think it's just one of those things where um, if for some reason you're in a really bad way with the boomers, you can still get your like reputation up with them. Yeah, right, bam. It's like... Like, okay, look at look at the map, right? Where's... Okay, here's the Crimson Caravan, right? Right here. Here's, here's where Jack is. Now, here's... All of this is Nellis, right? So, like, I don't know how far out Nellis goes. Maybe here? But even if he's standing, like, right there, right? Looking over to Crimson Caravan. Those are some thick binos. They must be, like, industrial grade. Military grade. Something, right? Where is this old man? Where's this old man? Oh, also, I'm looking for something else that I think is in here. I could be wrong, though. Here she is, right here. Mr. Cuddles! It's a teddy bear. Now, why is Mr. Cuddles important, you ask? Well, Mr. Cuddles is a teddy bear with a jacket on, which is incredibly adorable. So how could you say no? Is Loyal just asleep? He might just be asleep. Jack, why are you awake at 3 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, Loyal's probably asleep. Hello? I'm just gonna wait. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna walk all the way to Loyal's house. I know where he lives, I just don't feel like going all the way over there. Alright. See through multiple walls? Here's Loyal. I don't know how you survived the bombardment. That's incredible. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Uh, I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Oh, sure. Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Ooh, yeah, I've passed through a place called Helios 1. Maybe I can find parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. All right, what's on your mind? So I actually forever ago already picked up those solar panels. Um, I think if you have a repair of like 60 or 65, you can do it without the, the, the spare parts. Don't get blown up. Uh, good advice. Um, but we'll see. That's a ah. good thing to see, huh, boss? 
Okay, here we go. So one of the triggers is just to talk to Loyal in general. And Raul is like, hey, what's up? Uh, what are you talking about? That Loyal guy. He's getting up there in years, but he still finds a way to make himself useful to his people. If you ask me, that's better than withering away all alone or holding on to some faded piece of glory from your past. So, you get a couple of options here. Basically, Raul is a ghoul who was pre-war. So he's, you know, 200 years old. He's an older gentleman. And at this point in his life, he's starting to feel, like, useless. And so, your basically the quest, which is kind of an unmarked quest, if I remember, um, is to take him to different older people in the Mojave and show Raul that there are people who are on in years that are still making a difference in, in the world. Um, but then, of course, depending on how you respond, it affects the perk that Roll gets at the end. Um, again, I don't remember what the perks are, but I'm just going to go in terms of roleplay here. I'm going to be supportive of him. Um, and I'm going to say, Loyal's using his years of knowledge to help his tribe. I think that's a noble goal. Yeah. That's what I thought, too. What's on your mind? Old history, boss. I grew up in a place called Hidalgo Ranch, just outside Mexico City. It wasn't much, just a bit of a farm, with a house for three generations of Tejadas. I wasn't the best behaved kid. I was quick with my hands, with a pistol or a wrench. And I wasn't afraid to get into fights over it. I never killed anybody, but I had my share of run-ins with the police. Mostly my family kept me in line. This was before the war. We were far enough away from Mexico City when the bombs fell that we missed the worst of it. But things got bad quick. So Mexico City is one of the spots, I think that was a ground zero for one of the nukes. Um, they basically tried to hit all the major cities. So like New York, I remember specifically is one that was directly hit. Um, Boston obviously was almost directly hit. They didn't get, like, the center of Boston, but they got close enough to cause that huge, you know, wasteland area. Just a few days after Mexico City was vaporized, refugees started pouring down the road to our ranch. We helped who we could, but there were so many. Eventually, my father started turning people away before we ran out of food. Things got violent. My father and I got our guns, and we drove them off. Also, I, I like Raul's story a lot because he gives a really interesting perspective of life directly after the bombs fell, um, but specifically in a different country. So we've kind of seen what it's like in America. Um, and of course, it's similar in different countries um, because of just human nature. But it's kind of one of the more like real conversations you have in this game. It's like, oh... This is really sad, <laughs> if you think about it. About two dozen men came back in the night after we'd gone to sleep. They set fire to the ranch house and barred the doors from the outside. My whole family was trapped inside. I smelt the smoke. And I got myself and my little sister, Rafaela, out through a window. But everyone else. My parents, my grandmother, my two brothers, and two of my sisters all died. Rafael and I ran. We were pursued by some of the men who attacked our home. But I was always a good shot. The ones who came after us, I killed. The rest, I left be. I had to take care of Rafaela, not throw my life away on revenge. So I think at this point, he was also a younger man. Like, he was not ghoulified yet. And he was a younger man. And he had to take care of his little sister. Hello? What you find that? What do you hear? <laughs> uh, this last option is absolutely cruel and uncalled for. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna support him. You can't think it was your fault. No one can stand against a dozen armed men alone. I know that, boss. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm just getting sentimental in my old age. Anyways, forget it. 
Just wanted that off my chest. Yeah. So then he drops it. And uh, we can move on. Now, I am going to come back and do the Nellis quests. Um, but I do want to do... This quest with Raul while I'm thinking Thank about you. it. Oh, hey. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear Thank winter. you for the sub. 26 months. You're amazing. How's it going? How's it going? Okay. Gonna find... Oh, I should uh, drink some water. Hold on. All right, Sergeant McGee, Lieutenant Hayes. Oh, I can give the Legion ears to that one dude. Hey. Bitterroot, Trooper. Corp oh, hey, Corporal Betsy. Never seen you around before. What do you want? I wanted to talk to her because I killed, um... Freaking... What's his name? Uh, I'm not going to be creepy and ask for a date. Uh, also, she's a lesbian. Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobetz keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. That's legit, Alex. So exciting. Congratulations. Are you going to keep, like, updating it as you go? <laughs> needing to go do the litter, take out the trash, go grocery shopping. Aside from that, you can relax. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Yeah, doesn't sound like me at all, right? But it happens. Some cute little junky bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. What gave me away? The big gun, the shades, or the attitude? I love Corporal Betsy. <laughs> Yep, a lot of people make that connection. Big gun. Sniper. <laughs> Some people don't even need to ask. Uh, I'm not going to ask for on a date. I'm not a creep. Yeah, try not to get killed. All right. I was hoping we could tell her that we killed that one fiend, but that's fine. We are looking for... The weirdo who wanted the Legion ears. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Oh, version 1.7. Nice. Oh, hey! This is the guy that we uh, got to turn himself in. So that's good. Where is this fool? I... Hello? So, I heard you helped take over Nelson from the Legion. Glad to see someone making a difference around here instead of just complaining. Better now that all those Legion troops and Nelson are dead. The NCR might actually have a chance of kicking their asses after all. Yeah, Bam, so that was a previous quest we did. So the medical officer was losing supplies, and he thought that somebody was stealing supplies. So we basically found out that it was that one trooper. I don't remember his name. And he was taking... The dr he was taking drugs, essentially, to deal with the the PTSD of war. Um, and we 
uh, convinced him to turn himself in so that he would stop stealing from uh, the people who actually needed the drugs. Oh, yeah, this guy. If it isn't the guy that defeated the Legion at Nelson, I can't thank you enough. Morale around here has never been higher. Hey, no worries. Here's some ears. Oh, boy. This puts you far ahead of everyone else. I think I'll have to declare you the winner of the competition. Hey. It's not much, but here's a little something I scraped together for the winner of the contest. Good job. You earned it. I forgot that it was a contest. Oh, look. That's so cute. So this is, uh, I think depending on how many Legion ears you give him up until a certain point, he puts these little notches on the wall. That's really cute. Hello. Hi. Okay. No, seriously, I'm looking for somebody and I cannot find him. Where is he? What is his name? Corporal Sterling? 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 Foxtrot, hello! How's it going? The Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Never seen one before, but I've heard they chew nails and spit napalm. Here, where is Sterling? Sterling! I need to talk to you so my ghoul friend feels better about himself. <laughs> oh, you know what? He might actually be in this bigger tent over here. Nelson's back. Lottie, the there he is. Howdy. Name Sterling. Oh, First I love this come. guy. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Look at that beautiful mustache. Got a good memory for faces, landmarks, and such too. Comes with practice, that's all, and a lot of scouting from place to place. I call her the Long Caribbean. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, <laughs> couldn't bring Please, myself man. to toss her away. <laughs> Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gorbets reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different. So long as I can hit my targets. I love... <laughs> the, the hats do look a little bit goofy. This one is definitely too big for his head. I think it because the hat is supposed to compensate for some of the hair that a lot of characters have. Um, but obviously he has like flat hair that's like flat against his head model. Um, so the hat just looks like it's too big for his head. <laughs> oh, I've been good, Foxtrot. I'm glad to hear that you're doing better. I think, have you finished up uh, a lot of your, your work? Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Hey. Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't gonna be trekking across the waist on any more long scouts either. Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. Oh my gosh. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. I hope we can defend it. Purple Star Erling's a good guy. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Okay. Some of the designs are finished and new ones have arrived. Got a second to talk, boss. <laughs> the never-ending job loop. Yeah, that's that's true freelance right there. <laughs> hey, what's up, Roll? Meeting Corporal Sterling. Well, it kind of got me thinking. 
Here's a guy that's been beat all to hell, right? I mean, he could have retired from the service, but instead he signs back on and does what he can. You think he did the right thing? Um... I think it's good that he's so devoted to his duty. You think so, boss? <laughs> because I remember a time when a lot of people stuck to their duty no matter what. It ended with nuclear bombs falling on my hometown. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. After the fire, I knew my sister and I couldn't stay at Hidalgo Ranch anymore. The refugees still wanted me dead. They even put a bounty on me. I remember how scared Rafaela was. I told her if she came with me, we'd see the vaqueros. Aww. She used to love the rodeo, especially the trick rider. We figured maybe we could find help in Mexico City. We were young. We didn't know what had happened, really. We didn't understand about the bombs. Oh, wow. So he must have been a lot younger than I realized if he didn't even really understand what was going on with the Great War. I don't think it was as hard hit as D.C. or Bakersfield, but it was bad enough. By the time we got there, the city was a radioactive ruin. Still, the city was full of looters already forming into the beginnings of raider tribes. Crime was bad before the war, but now it was a nightmare. We were living like scavengers, scraping by on what little food we could find, always looking for medicine for my burns. And then, of course, the radiation started to kick in, turning me into this handsome devil you see before you. You're a poet of understatement, boss. <laughs> but there were moments it was almost worth it. I still remember finding that novelty costume shop. Oh. I was just looking around for something I could slice up to wrap my burns when I saw the vaquero outfit hanging on the rack like it hadn't been touched. I took it, not like anybody else needed it, you know, and wore it back to our camp. Rafaela laughed Aww. for the first time since the bombs had fallen. Oh. It was. I started to build up a legend. Sometimes it headed off trouble, but most of the times it just started more. Young punks looking to prove themselves would come looking for me, but my eyes were sharp and my guns were quick. For a while, it seemed like we might even survive there, until, until Rafaela. What happened? She went out to find some food one day. I was sick, so I stayed at our camp. I guess it must have been the beginning of radiation poisoning. Anyway, it was supposed to be safe, but some raiders happened to pass through where she was scavenging. I won't speak of what they did to her. When I found her body, the only way to recognize her was this funny little scar on her knee from when she was a little girl. Oh, Raul, I love you. Terrible doesn't begin to cover it, boss. I let my whole family down. First the ranch, now Rafaela. I was the last Tejada. I guess maybe I went a little crazy then. I took my guns and went back to that market. I didn't have many bullets, but I had enough. After the raiders were dead, I salvaged what I could from the store. I was tired. I just wanted to be alone forever. What'd you do? I left Mexico City behind. I made my way out to the Gulf Coast. Eventually, I found an old Petro Chico refinery nobody had claimed. I stayed there for a little while, and I thought a lot about my life. I thought about the guns I'd lived by and what they'd gotten me. I decided my guns hadn't gotten me anything, and it was time to give it up. I took off the old vaquero outfit and put on a Petro Chico jumpsuit. The name tag said Miguel, so I started using the name myself. Eventually, I made it to Arizona. That's another story, boss. Yeah, it, it's kind of, I don't know. I, I don't know how the devs might make Raul's story into a quest, like a bigger, a bigger, wider quest, like we did with Veronica or Boone, but I'm, I'm glad that we at least get his, his character lore, you know? I, it, it's kind of a bummer that there's not more to it in terms of the quest, but Hello. it's unmarked, so what are you going to do? Um, I also just remembered we have to turn in our information to Reyes here. Welcome back. Because she sent us out to send codes to all of the ranger stations. 
So every station except Charlie has been given the new security codes. Charlie was wiped out. The station's been silent for quite some time now. I guess this confirms what we've all feared. Thanks for letting me know. I'll switch over all radio broadcasts to the new encrypted channels. This ought to help us stay a step ahead of any spies. Before you go, I've got another job available. What's up, girl? We've received some disturbing reports from some of the Ranger stations. Heavy casualties at Alpha, super mutant legionaries at Delta. The weirdest one has to be the Great Cons and their trained death claws at Foxtrot. These reports can't be accurate, can they? I know you've already been out there, but could you do me a solid and confirm these reports with the Rangers who sent them in? I don't really understand why she can't just do it. If they're radioing into her, why can't she just radio to them? But then I guess there wouldn't be a quest. Whatever. Thank you, and good luck. All right. So now she wants us to go back to a couple of the ranger stations and confirm some really wild uh, reports that she's been getting. Um, which we will do eventually. <laughs> Very engaging to listen to. Usually I get bored and ask NPCs to stop talking. Careful. They got spies all over. I know. Uh, Raul's a very good storyteller. I quite enjoy his uh, his story. And it's like, like I was saying earlier, like it's really, it's very real, you know? It's not just goofy haha -ha, raider head go explosion. It's like... What's new? There's actually, you know... There's substance there. All right, I'm just going to talk to this guy since we've already talked to him. Um, this is what I tried to do earlier and it didn't trigger. Um, and I think... I think that should do it. Hey, boss, there we go. Can I ask you something? So we talked to Andy like a couple streams ago and Andy basically told us like, you know, he got wrecked by some Legion but he still serves as a ranger, etc. What do you think of guys like Ranger Andy? He seems like a decent guy. That wasn't what I meant, really. I mean, guys who have a world of experience doing what they do would have to give it up because they're getting old and slow or too injured. Oh. Um... Even after a crippling energy, a guy like Andy's tougher and more dangerous than most men alive. He didn't have to give it up. He's just scared. No, that's not it. Um, just because someone's crippled doesn't mean they're useless. All that experience is invaluable. Yeah, I suppose he could still teach. Take a less active role in the world. That's not so bad. Is that what you did? Would it surprise you to know that I used to be a gunslinging adventurer? I left everything when I left Mexico. My home, my family, my name. Even my face. I know it's surprising, boss, but I wasn't always this <laughs> handsome. As far as the world knows, I was Miguel, and I was okay with that. I headed north for a while and ended up in Tucson. Not Tucson, by the way. Not Tucson. Was good there. Well, maybe not good, but better than Mexico City, anyway. I found myself a little shack and started fixing things. Oh, sure, boss. I was always good at fixing things. Some I fixed for the town, some I fixed for other people, some I fixed just for the hell of it. It's a better way to use your hands than killing. And even then, I wasn't getting any younger or faster. I lived there for a long time, kept it myself, didn't get into any fights. Hell, the only reason I even kept my guns oiled was professional pride. So why aren't you still there? Getting there, boss. I'd been in Tucson. The locals can call it Tucson all they want, but it's Tucson, <laughs> damn it. About 75 years when she showed up. Pretty thing you ever saw, boss. Maybe it was just a trick of my senile brain, but I swear she looked just like my Rafaela. Her name was Claudia. She ended up taking work at one of the brothels in town. I never went to her, of course. How could I? But I looked after her Aww. in my own way. It's pronounced Tucson, damn it. <laughs> Tucson. So he met he met this girl and 
wanted to take care of her like he couldn't take care of Rafaela. This was a long time ago, before Caesar's Legion pacified Arizona and brought the raider tribes to heal. A tribe came into Tucson one day. More a gang, really. Dirty Dave. Dirty Dave and his six brothers. They were looking for bullets, and I sold some to them. I figured if I did that, they'd leave town before they tore it up too much. No, boss. No, they didn't. As I was saying, I hope they'd leave the town in peace. Instead, they decided to stop at Claudia's brothel to take the edge off. I don't know which one of them got rowdy first, but by the time I heard the screams and got my guns, it was too late. They shot up the brothel, killed four girls, and taken Claudia for their sport. So, another extremely real... <laughs> extremely visceral, extremely real event. Did you rescue her? I went after Dave and his brothers. They had a head start, but they slept nights. I didn't. It took me three days to catch up to them. Claudia was dead when I got there. Aww. They put a bullet in each of her eyes. I couldn't do anything except the Avenger, just like Rafaela. I charged into the middle of their camp and started firing. Two of them were dead before they knew I was there. The other five, though, they shot the shit out of me. I would have died, I think, if I wasn't so full of rage. How'd you survive? By being a meaner old cuss than the rest of them, <laughs> boss. I wanted to keep living until they weren't. So I just kept shooting until they were all dead. I was in pretty bad shape in the end, though. I don't know how long I laid there with the sun baking me and the buzzers chomping at me. Eventually, I got the strength to start moving. Some long time after that, I managed to drag my carcass back to town. Yeah, Raul's a badass. Raul is like one of the best characters in this game. I wish we had more Raul. When I recovered, more or less anyways, I left Tucson and headed west. I ran into Tabitha at Black Mountain, and well, the rest you know. I swore I was done with the gunslinging life. I was too old, too slow, and too beat up to protect anyone. Aww, Raul. I thought I was done forever, but after traveling with you, I realized I've always had my doubts. Duh. About whether I'm really too old to keep living the life of a gunslinger after all. And after seeing what you go through, boss, I think I am. From now on, I'll let you deal with the fighting and stick to keeping your gear working. I don't want to slow you down more than I already do. Okay, so with this quest, it's interesting. So at the, at the end of Veronica's quest, we could basically help her decide which route she wanted to go. And that would depend, that would uh, change which perk she gets. Um, so we basically can tell her, hey, stay with the Brotherhood, or hey, leave. With him, where he ends up diverting depends on the, the options that you choose up until this point. So I've basically kind of been semi-neutral, but not necessarily encouraging him to continue the gunslinger lifestyle. Um, and he wants to, instead of being a vaquero, he wants to stick to being a repair a repairman so i think the two options are he gets different outfits to, for them too which is fun the vaquero outfit by the way is awesome it's very cute i'll have to find a picture of it and uh, since he's he's kind of gotten to that place on his own i'm gonna encourage that but speech 66 if i wanted to i could tell him to go communist engaged Thank you, Sage, for the communist engaged. <laughs> um, I could convince him to become a communist. <laughs> How's it going, Sage? <laughs> um, no, I could convince him to go with the, the gunslinger lifestyle, but I'm not going to do that. I think he's probably going to be a happier man just sticking to his repair. Thanks, boss. I'd hate to think I was disappointing you with my life-altering decision. I love him! So now he has the full maintenance perk, which replaces the regular maintenance perk. And he gets an upgrade to his armor. So, 
like all of the other companions, except I think Veronica and Lily, um, he gets an upgrade to his look once we complete his quest. So his quest, I forgot, is unmarked, so we don't actually get any experience for doing this. Um, but yeah, now he has some uh, some better armor. It looks pretty cool. Um, let me see if I can find a picture of the Vaquero outfit, because it is kind of badass. Um, so remember he said that he found the Vaquero outfit in a costume shop? Let me see if I can find it. Oh my god, Bethesda Mouse. Oh, I love it. Oh, he's such a handsome stud. Literally, what a man. No one can compare to this, to this man. Hold on. Uh, window capture. Oops. Look at this handsome devil. Look at this man. So he gets he gets this Vaquero outfit from the costume shop, but then uh, he adds some armor to it. So if you go with the gunslinger option, he has that. If you go with the repair person outfit or the repair person sort of ending, he gets the the repair. So for fuck's sake, is amazing. It's true. It's all true. Everything you've heard. And in fact, um Oh good. Now there's an <laughs> army of robots. You don't do things by halves, do you, boss? Oh, I forgot to mention that a lot of the companions will comment on things you do in the main plot. So the fact that we activated the robot army under Caesar's camp, uh <laughs> Raul is not impressed. <laughs> Sure. Talk to me in my shack. I've oh, okay. I can't repair stuff unless he's at his shack. That's fine. Um. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. I love him. He's so sassy. I'm sure pissing oh off my gosh. a ruthless warlord with a tribe of fanatically devoted warriors was a good move. How could it not be? It was your idea. Don't sass me, Raul. I got you some new digs. <laughs> okay. Uh, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and send him to the Lucky Thirty Eight. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. Since he's already at this point where he's not really wanting to get into gunfights. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. Go treat yourself to some room service, Raul. You deserve it. You truly deserve it. All right. Now we can sell some things and go pick up Edie. We'll have our fully upgraded Edie friend. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Hey, Cliff. Oh my gosh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm selling Annabelle. I'm never going to use her, but I'm not going to sell her here because holy crap, she's 4,400 caps. Uh, and this fool only has 1300. <laughs> Honestly, playing this game again and like listening to Raul, like, if I had to choose any of the companions to marry, it would be Raul. He's sassy. He knows he's hot. He's got he's got the range. He can he can shoot and he can he can repair. Okay. I really would love some sniper uh Mods, please? Please, video game? Can I have some sniper mods? Did I get rid of my 10 mil? I think I did. Yeah. Uh, 308. 
No, he said no to the 308. Wow, he has like nothing I want. Fine. Bye, Foxtrot. Thanks for popping in. Always good to see you. So, Edie should be back in Prim. Go pick her up. For some reason, when Lorenzo's done with her, she just goes back to Prim, but that's fine. Edie! Okay, and that completes Edie, my love. So that's, that's all you need to do, basically. Um, so you can see her armor looks a little bit different. We'll take her as a companion. Some cons got cornered in the ruins of Boulder City, but the NCR Stop. let them go. Stop talking That's to me, lady. Unusual. So her armor is like fully cleaned up now. So Lorenzo like really gave her some nice digs. She used to have a um She used to have like a bumper sticker on her at some point, but and I, I don't know what she looks like if you take her to the followers. But yeah. Lorenzo cleaned her up all nice, so. We get a nice, beautiful, clean ED. And we're gonna head back to Hidden Valley so we can talk to Lorenzo and continue that quest. Um. And then at this point, we can kind of decide where we want to go in terms of quests. I mean, there's tons still to do. I have been thinking about maybe starting one of the DLC. Uh, I'm just not sure which one yet. I do love a DLC. Oh, you know what? I was going to do Cass's quest too. Your followers upgraded ED look no different than regular ED. They just wanted to keep her natural look. The bunker takes There's the man of the hour. Good to see you again. What can I help you with? Took you long enough to show back up. Uh, the Elder wants me to retrieve components to help fix the air filtration system. So now I'm going to have your death on my conscience, too? Great. Okay, that's a way to talk to a person. You think you're the first person the Elder's trusted with this? He sent three of our patrols out looking for those components, and they're all dead. I was the one who supplied the Elder with the location of possible sites where we could find the components, so their deaths are my fault. And now it's your turn. Well, don't say you weren't warned. I won't take the blame when you die horribly, <laughs> but I can tell you're getting impatient. The items I'll need to keep the system running are a differential pressure controller, a reverse pulse cleaner, and several HEPA cartridge filters. At present, my best guess for finding the items would be to search any of the old vaults in the area. Those vaults were usually built much like these military bunkers, even using the same contractors in their constructions at times. I'll mark the vaults locations on your map. Best of luck to you. All right, so... If you remember when we were in Vault 22, we diverted from every other quest we were doing to go find a, lo a hidden locker and it had the HEPA cartridge filters in them. That's why I went and did it so that I don't have to go back to Vault 22 just for this quest. Because again, this Brotherhood quest is not good. It's just a lot of going out, finding three things, finding three people, and then coming back. So. I'm gonna go talk to the... How do I find them? Uh, the armory person? I always lose track of where the armory is. You hate this quest? 
because I get lost indoors so much. Yeah, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Oh yeah, I found that laser pistol too. Who am I giving it to? You? Have you found it? Yeah, here it is. Oh, thank God. Hardin was about to start an inquiry into the whole affair, and more than a few heads would have rolled as a result. Since you helped me, I'll tell you what. I work on some of our busted weapons in my spare time, so I have a few pieces that are kept off the books. Hey. Here, take this. I hope it comes in handy. What did you give me? Try beam? I'm never gonna use that, but thank you. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Okay. Ballistic fist. Wow, even she can't afford Annabelle? Pathetic. Take your 308, though. 308, 9 mil, 556. Five, I'm just gonna load up on ammo. 556, five, and. I keep forgetting what this is. 50. 50. And. Pleasure doing okay, I'm still having a hard time finding freaking sniper upgrades, but I might take some time to uh, go around the Mojave and look different vendors. Yeah, it, the this quest is not my favorite. It's it's interesting because you get to learn about the Brotherhood and you get to go to you know these interesting places, but. It's very obnoxious because it's find these three things, go back to the Brotherhood, and then you have to go through the entire Brotherhood bunker. You have to go through the whole bu bunker <laughs> and find McNamara, which can be really hard, especially on your first time playing. Um, okay. Now we're going to go pick up Cass. Maybe. There we go. I sent Cass to Lucky 38. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're going to have to stay outside. Come back soon now. All right. Well, I still have to... My companion needs to wait out here, unfortunately. companion can come with me sure why not all right well i guess he's okay with edie coming up congratulations partner the boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite you can bring your friends too be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together i love it just bear in mind you're the only one gets to see the boss any friends you got they can wait in the suite enjoy the digs partner they're plenty fancy. Y'all, I still haven't been here to talk to House. I think I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Okay, I will do, I will do this. I roll her sweet. I'll grab Cass. Ready to leave yet? Yeah, yeah. What's wrong? Aside from the TV-faced robots, the dust, and the old man smell in every room? Nothing. It's a paradise. This place has the old world blues about it. Everything in here feels like it should have passed on a long time ago. Hell, it's hard to believe Vegas is right outside. So, yeah, I'm looking to leave whenever you're ready. Love that she said Old World Blues that was capitalized. Love that little touch. All right, come with me. Can't be any worse than here. Name drop. Oh, God. Didn't mean to do that. 
Um, okay, let's go ahead and talk to House. Don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the ammo and whiskey. Go to the casino, and then I'm gonna go up to talk to House. Where to, Porter? He's been waiting quite a while at this point. Um, penthouse. Penthouse floor. Oh, it's creepy when it's dark. I'd expect it to be a little bit more lit up. Okay, so <laughs> this feels a little bit anticlimactic, but basically this is where the main quest has been leading us this whole time. Uh, the platinum chip that we got from Benny. Uh, did we kill Benny? Yeah, we killed Benny, right? Yeah, we killed Benny. I couldn't remember because it was a while ago. Um, Benny stole the platinum chip from this guy. We were originally delivering the chip for this guy. Um, and now we got it back. Hi. So we meet in person, finally, so to speak. You did well at the fort. Kudos. I take it you've come to deliver the platinum chip? Bam, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic with that comment, but I am going to say you don't have to kill Benny. Um, you can, if you're a woman, you can sleep with him and then kill him after that. You can sleep with him and then wait until morning and he leaves. Uh, if you are, if you don't want to do that, or if you're a guy, I will always kill Benny. Yeah, same. <laughs> Um, if you're a guy, or if you don't want to sleep with him, uh, he basically will do anything to basically get out of Vegas as soon as possible. So if you happen to let him leave the presidential suite that he comps you, um, he'll send assassins in after him to kill you, uh, and then he leaves the strip. Uh, and then later we find out basically that he gets captured. Is it he gets captured? I think it's he gets captured by the Legion and is taken to... Hold on. Automod. Chill out. <laughs> um, that is not bullying. He is a greasy scumbag. Automod. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, he gets taken by the Legion and basically you can go and... Uh, find him tied up with the legion and you can either help him escape with a stealth boy i think um or you can kill him <laughs> i think the legion actually encourages you to kill him which is funny okay i'm gonna just give him the platinum chip we've been we've been dancing around this for long enough such a small thing isn't it and yet so capacious so very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. Okay. So what happens next? A great deal shall be happening. A cascade of events with you taking a central role. At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. What you see there will help you understand the significance of what you accomplished at the fort. All right. So now we're in a cutscene that we can't get out of, unfortunately. But that's fine. So... We've sort of done things out of order, which is fine, because that's this is the New Vegas way. Um, but yeah, so we helped House upgrade his Securitrons, and now we've given him the Platinum Chip. And he wants to show us a light show. Step closer to the demonstration area, if you would. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core deflects small arms and shrapnel easily enough. Its X-25 Gatling laser, produced to spec by Glastinghouse Inc., is deadly against soft targets at medium range. And for close-range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. All of this you probably already knew. 
What you did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer ranges. And a rapid-fire G-28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close-range engagements. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto-repair systems. Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. Okay. He loves to hear himself talk. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? What does that mean? I've since broadcast <laughs> the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters. And I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. Ah. All right, so... Technically, this is part of the house quest line, um, but we're not like committed to a certain ending just yet. So, yeah, he he's a narcissist, bam, through and through. He's a ve very very Tony Stark of him. <laughs> uh, so, what happens next? The foundation is laid. My securitrons on the strip are upgraded, and those at the fort ready for action. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. Now, I might have moved a little bit too far in the quest line. We're going to see if needed. I'll reload um, because I'm not going to do houses ending. I'm going to do the NCR ending. So. I love that you can say I've come here to kill you. Uh, what's the next step? Outside New Vegas at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe known as the Boomers. They are, shall we say, aggressively reclusive. They have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If it's going to fire on Hoover Dam, I want it firing at my targets. If not, then I want to make sure that the Boomers don't sign similar treaties to fire their guns in support of the NCR or Caesar's Legion. Use extreme caution when approaching the base. Their firepower is considerable. Recently, one of my roaming Securitrons observed a man near the base studying the pattern of its artillery fire. Maybe he's learned something. All right, so... At this point, again, we're in the quest, the house quest line. Um, we should be okay. We shouldn't be on a bad... Yeah. So, if you get too far down a certain quest line... <laughs> we know, nerd. I know, right? We've already been there, scrub. Um, you get... If, if you go too far down a certain quest line, you get an actual quest that says, basically, Hey, if you continue supporting house then the NCR and the Legion are not going to support you anymore, or you won't be able to continue supporting the various different endings. So there is a point you can keep going with House, um, uh, but we're not going to do that. We're just, we're going to politely agree with him. And now we're going to leave. <laughs> uh, I do want to pop up to the cocktail lounge this place is actually really cool uh during the day at night it's kind of scary because you can't really see the strip um but there is first of all there's pre-war money obvi we love it there should be something here that i want if i can find it this is a neat area i really really like it Where is it? Um, 
there should be a snow globe up here. I might be missing it. Always down for some booze. In character. Where the heck is a snow globe? I swear there's a snow globe up here. Hold up. <laughs> Not me wandering around. It's very ominous, especially without any of the music playing. All you can hear is the freaking the sound of the, the wind. Ugh. It's creepy. I love it. Oh, there's also a briefcase here. I think there's explosives in this thing. Also very ominous because it's literally just sitting here with nothing else around it. It's a briefcase full of... Yeah, there's literally bombs and a detonator in here. <laughs> And a silenced gun, so I think the idea is that there was some kind of, um, secret agent, maybe? I don't know. There it is! It's hiding! <laughs> I don't think that was always there. I think one of the mods moved it. All right. The buildings and the windows look like they're on fire. It's true. Um, penthouse. Now we want to talk to this lovely lady. Ooh, suddenly I feel all tingly. Oh. And I find I've got a rocket launcher. I, I sometimes feel that way when I see an attractive man too, yes. I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. I mean, I already had a wonderful time with Fisto, so why not Jane the Securitron, right? Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Um, tell me about the other attractions. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. I really don't. Oh. And the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. So, Jane here will take our snow globes that we've been collecting. Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. And I did. You do? Well, 14,000 caps. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. 14,000 caps. I think it's 2,000 caps per snow globe. Insanity. Very ominous. So Mormon Fort, Good Springs, Hoover Dam, Mount Charleston, Nellis, Test Site, and the Strip. So seven total. I don't know if that's all of them. That might be all of them. That's 14, 14K old magster so I'm quite happy all right this place is freaking me out let's get out of here I could have made so much money I know it's easy to miss let's hit What does Cass have to say? Let's talk to her for a second. Inside the Lucky 38? Well, I'm not sure whether that's a blessing or a curse. I love her. 
Sure hope you know what you're doing. Mojave's getting tense. There's also a lot of cool stuff around uh around this area, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off exploring for now. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Sure. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. <laughs> uh, Dr. Jean diagnoses a terminally low discussion of caps in this conversation. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you they will be worth plenty of caps. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Okay. So this is an interesting quest because wow. it's That's crazy. nothing. Um, I, I genuinely think this is one of the quests that they just didn't have time to finish uh, in the 18 months that they were making this game. Uh, which is really unfortunate because it's it's quite boring. Um, basically, she gives us a bug and wants us to bug the network. Which is right here. I think normally this terminal is like hard locked. But literally you just have to click on it and then select a bug the network and that's it. That's the that's it. It's it's very weird. <laughs> um I, I really think there was supposed to be more to this, like you actually hacking the system, maybe even talking to House. Uh House does comment on it, by the way, I believe, if you talk to him after you do this. Uh he and he's not he's not upset. In fact, I think he's Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Jeez, chill out. Uh, he's actually impressed that you had the gumption to do that, um, but he's not mad. So, I, I really think there was supposed to be more to this, uh, but this is all there is. Good to hear. But it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. It looks like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. We'll get through eventually, just not today. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. Yeah, so that's literally it. Like it's a named quest. And that was that was it. That that's the whole quest. That's the whole thing. So gonna head to bed. Have a great rest of your stream. Oh, I'm always glad to have you, Bam. I hope you sleep well. See you next time. Alright. So that's that. Me. Oh, they mentioned pocket packet sniffers. Whoever did this quest might know what they're talking about. Fall New Vegas, click to interact. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what a packet sniffer is. I need to get some rat away. This is stupid. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and help cast, shall we? Um, let me pop over to the Mormon fort and see if they have some rad away for me. Or actually, better yet, I'll just, I'll just pay to get my rads removed. Hello. Hey, I heard about the bug getting destroyed in the Lucky 38. We'll get in there eventually. It's just a matter of time. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I realized that she commented on it. All right. You'll get the... Ma that's easy enough to clear up. 
Hold still. The rat away burns a little. This should flush those rats out quickly. All right. Anything else? All cleared up. Now, yes, my dear. Let's go do her quest. So she wanted to pay respects to her fallen caravan. Oh God, oh God. Right back into it, huh? Freaking G's. We good? I think we're good. Oh, we're mostly good. What are they attacking? They lit somebody on fire. Packet sniffer is a software utility that reads network traffic and pulls out the raw data exactly as it's being transmitted. Ooh. Fancy. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was, was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Why would it have been done during the day? No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. Sounds good to me. So we have some energy cells. You could call what I'll take. Energy cells again. You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake, and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. Wanna go check it out? Yeah. It's a ways though. Hell of a detour. You sure? All right, then. Let's move out. Okay. So this caravan, she thought when she heard the report, it meant that the thing had been burned, but instead it looks like they had been hit by energy weapons, which is interesting. So let's go find that other caravan, shall we? Oh my gosh, it's all the way out here. Oh, also used for some hacking. That makes sense. Just to gather data, really. Potentially passwords or something like that. Whoever wrote the quest script either knew what one was or had heard someone use the word before. I know it sounds fancy for somebody like me who doesn't know, like, what the heck that is. Like, it sounds legit. <laughs> Even if it's it was being used incorrectly. We should be safe if we're on the road here. There's not really raiders out here except for that way. Yeah, here we go. More energy weapons hit this caravan. 
place has been picked clean. This is Brotherhood level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. Kind of weird that she said, uh, did she say that this was a hit a couple weeks back or a couple months back? Because there shouldn't be any bodies. <laughs> What's that? Looks like a map. Got the route along the west of Vegas and they've marked another spot. Over here along this stretch. That's fucked up. Middle of nowhere. Yeah. Something's wrong. I can feel it. It's not any closer than the first. So if you'd rather let be, let me know. All right then, let's move out. Okay, so we're uncovering a mystery here. Very suspicious. Engage. Thank you, Sage. <laughs> Hi, Tui. Good to see you. Stream is going great. We're getting a lot of quests done. How are you? Oh, I meant to say, Tui, you reminded me. I meant to say sorry for going radio silent last night. I was just exhausted and ended up just spending time with my partner and some friends. So it all ended up fine, but I meant to stream. And I didn't, so it's all good. We're streaming today. It's supposed to scare you. It does! Did I not put the Reaper Leviathan uh, sound in there? If I meant to. Remember thousands of random bits like this? You use them to lend authenticity when writing about things you don't understand well. After some Googling, of course. Yeah, same. <laughs> I do that too when I'm writing. Hello, E. Johnson. How's it going? Welcome. Negative champ. Okay, I'll, I'll add some more sound bits for you, Sage. <laughs> so you can try to scare me. <laughs> Another caravan burned. Except someone made camp here. And I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks. There's no way I'm going to make it cheaper for you. I want a spook. Ooh, burgers and hot dogs. I actually was already he here, funnily enough. So I've already looted this place, but she doesn't know that. So we'll just walk around for a bit. Doop -doo -doo. Mmm, dog steak. That does it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. Sage, if you if you mess with my channel points, I'm gonna unmod you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, E. Johnson. I don't have a mods uh, list. It's actually on my Discord. If you want to hop into my Discord, uh, I'll have a list of mods in there. But I don't. I don't have. That's real. Actually, really smart. I should put them on a command. We have quite a few, actually. Let me see. Pride is over, Sage. Your mod rights are revoked. <laughs> All right. So I got distracted, but basically <laughs> Cass, Cass thinks that the Van Graffs are involved and is uh, really pissed off. Uh, understandably. Uh, we can encourage her, we can say, oh, let's just go kill them, or we could say there's another way we can get evidence and let the NCR take them down. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion, no way they're gonna waste time running up the Crimson Caravan or the Van Graffs. I just realized, hold on. I need to mod Holly, hello? I'm not expecting you to use your mod powers at all, but I I feel like I need to mod you. Here we go. 
<laughs> it's just, it's just girlfriend privileges, right? If you have a long mod list that works well, putting in a Google Sheet spreadsheet, putting the link in the channel command. Oh, that's a really good idea. I'll do that. If y'all are interested in seeing my mods, I'll do that. That's a really good idea. <laughs> I have to use my powers for evil. <laughs> Polly, if you want, I can I can teach you some basic mod commands. Okay. All right. Uh, if I can get the evidence, will you at least consider it? All right. If you poke around the Van Graffs and Alice, fine. But if I see either one go into their camp, I'm gonna start shooting, no matter what you find. All right. All right. All right. So at this point, this is this is interesting because she's she's very serious about this. Um, if if you go into the Crimson Caravan or the Silver Rush while she's in your party, she will start attacking them on sight. No no hesitation. Um, so we are going to kind of have to leave her somewhere. Um, what's a good spot? Because at this point, we can either go to the Silver Rush and beat him up. Or we can try to find evidence, right? And usually what I do is I go to find evidence because even though, like... Cass is right to be kind of pissed off because she's like, why would you get a government involved? They're just It's just going to take years and years for them to take these, these groups down, but it's probably better in the long run to do it this way and get them caught up in, like, bureaucratic, like, red tape than to just kill them outright. So that's what we're going to do. Um... Let's pop over to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. And then I'm going to tell her to wait here. I'll hold up. She should be fine. And then we're going to pop in. Yeah, E. Johnson, uh, <laughs> this is my like billionth time playing this game. And uh, I really wanted to do, oh, will you put that picture in the discord? That's so cute. My puppy is sitting on my giant squishmallow. He's very cute right now. Um, but yeah, E. Johnson, we're doing a super thorough playthrough of the game, like trying to do as many quests as possible, that kind of thing. Um, okay. Things are getting stranger every day. I'm gonna pick these flowers. I'm actually gonna check hey there. You his inventory. I'm looking for sniper mods, and like nobody has had sniper mods. I want sniper mods, gosh darn it. That's fine. Make some crud here. Um, binos, C4, cleaver, detonator. Two. Don't know why I have a cup. mill missiles I don't need MF cells okay perfect so I don't know if anybody remembers who was here um, we actually already opened the safe uh, but because we hadn't started that quest with Cass yet, the uh, the agreement here did not spawn. So, let's talk to Alice first. I'm kind of curious what she has to say. Welcome back. Yeah, the mod, the, the sprint mod is really cool. Uh, tell me more about the Crimson Caravan Company, I guess? Certainly. What would you like to know?
The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Normally, I oversee company operations at the hub in California. However, the new Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. Well, the gunrunners continue to dominate the weapons market, and the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. All right, well, she's not talking. She has nothing to say as far as we're concerned. Um, honestly, all we really have to do is get hidden and then... To... Oh, no. <laughs> Holly, no! <laughs> oh my gosh, Johnson, you're a saint. Thank you so much for telling me that. I almost never go to that merchant. You're a genius. E. Johnson VIP. Thank you so much. Uh, Holly just said, Happy Independence Day from the person who just dumped dog food in the laundry machine because I keep the bins right next to each other. Yeah, we have our dog food bin and the detergent bin right next to each other because they're kind of roughly the same size um <laughs> holly the um the vacuum the handheld vacuum still works if you just want to do that or i can do it if you if you want let me know i got you they're level specific though i'm level 22 23 I'll at least go check. If they're not there, then that's fine. Um, but I'll, I'll at least go check, right? Ah, if I can remember where it is. <laughs> 188. Time to add a label. Uh, I think it's just more like a just t being tired sort of thing. Um... Hey, you. Back for more? Okay. Oh, it's not you. It's, um, it's this lady, right? Thanks for following, Johnson. Good to have you here. I know what the bins look like. The problem is I don't know anything before I act. <laughs> I've still got guns and ammo if you... Uh... <laughs> Listen, we've all done it. We've all done it. Okay. Okay, there's one. Sniper rifle. Carbon fi fiber. Um, might as well get some more 308 while I'm here, right? Oh my god, we have 37,000 caps. That's kind of insane. I didn't even Thank realize you. that. Alex! Thank you for gifting a sub to Johnson. I appreciate that so much. Enjoy your emotes, Johnson. Oh, I already had that mod. Gosh darn it. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> Thank you. <You're> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you might be right, Johnson. I think they are level capped because I can't seem to find any other uh, freaking sniper rifle upgrades at this point. So maybe I should look for anti-material rifle upgrades. <laughs> Uh, okay. I just remembered we left Cass. Uh, we should probably go grab her. Um, oh! You know, I just remembered something. Oh, Bilbo's got the zoomies! <laughs> um... Need a sad trombone sound command? Okay, I'll put it on the list, Alex. I'll do that after stream. If you guys have ideas for sound alerts, let me know because I'm, I'm hoping to add some more. Okay, let me know. I actually have a list here. Hold on. I've been making a list slowly as I think of them. Uh, soundboard ideas so far. Uh, Benny saying ring-a-ding. The X-Files theme. The mysterious stranger sounds. The wild wasteland sound. Uh, the one... A scientist from Old World Blues saying it's impossible, and Todd Howard saying it just works. 
<laughs> oh, and the Subnautica, Subnautica Reaper. Subnautica Reaper, and then... It's true, the Antimaterial Rifle is really the best. And then Sad Trombone. Okay. Me going hurrah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> um, okay. So. So. Listen up. Because I don't remember what what uh, order I'm supposed to do this in. So I'm going to I'm going to talk about it now. So Cass has her own companion quest that involves the Van Graffs. The Van Graffs also have a quest that they've given you uh, that I have right here. It's called Birds of a Feather. Uh, and we don't know it yet, but it actually does involve Cass. So I'm actually going to... I'm going to keep her... She's just going to stay here by the New Vegas Medical Clinic. She'll be fine. Uh, and we're going to we're gonna do this quest. We're going to go out into the world. Oh my gosh, is that a Liara emote, Alex? That's so cute. I love that. Send her to get room service? I don't think she would even if she could. Oh. It's so cute, Alex. Oh, yeah. So there's this guy. Um, Help! Hello? Oh, God. Edie. Edie, no. Edie, don't be a hero. Edie. Ever heard of NVTS? I have not. What does it stand for? Or maybe I have. I don't know. New Vegas Tunnel System? New Vegas Turret Cellar. I'd yell help too if I'd been in a transporter accident materialized me inside a rock. I know. This this cat has been through a lot. Are you the Van Graff's emissary? Oh, New Vegas True Scopes. No, I've never heard of that. I'll look it up. Does it improve the scoping, then, I assume? Do you have what we requested? Do you have medical help? We were told there would be no- Okay, I'm sorry, it's right here. Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. I'll check it out, Johnson, for sure. Um, I'm always looking for new mods, especially immer immersion ones. Um. So Gloria wanted us to deliver a package to this guy. Uh, hopefully he will be okay. <laughs> New Vegas tourist service. Now there's a mod I can get behind. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So here's what's interesting, right? Is we did this... For Gloria. Welcome back. Did you have news for me? Or are you just here for the guns? I delivered your package. And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? You said you'd hear from them soon. Oh. Oops. Jean Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Okay. So normally with this quest, and I, I don't like this, by the way. I'm going to talk about it. Normally with this quest, you, <laughs> New Vegas totally stinks. I mean, you're right. <laughs> um, normally with this quest, when you talk to John Baptiste, he tells you that he wants us to get rid of a woman named Cass because her caravan is blah, 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 something, something, something. The only way to complete this quest is to actually kill Cass, your companion. Either you kill her or you bring her here and he kills her. And there's no other way to complete the quest. And I find that to be bullshit. <laughs> I, I think there are so many ways 
to complete quests in this game, that the fact that you cannot find another way around this is very, very silly to me, especially because Cass is no longer in the caravan game. So let's talk to him. Ah, just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? Absolutely. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. And who is this girl? Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I can talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. Not the Sundari of the group. <laughs> Find her. Bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. Okay. So, at this point... We're also doing like Cass's quest on the other on the other half of this, right? What happens is basically we're about to learn by doing Cass's quest that the Silver Rush and the Crimson Caravan made a deal to get rid of the uh, rival caravan groups. Um Again, the fact that you have to get Cass killed in order to continue to continue with Birds of a Feather is very dumb to me. So I'm going to talk to him again. Hey, how's it going? You find that bitch yet or not? And it doesn't say this, but it's a speech check of 30. I installed a mod that says that's called Cass Lives. The only thing it does is it makes it so you could add this speech check. Say that she's dead. Basically convince him that it's true. Guess I don't have to worry about talking with her then. About fucking time. Any longer, I was gonna track you both down. Anyway, Glory's been antsy lately because that big deal she's been working on is finally going down. If this thing goes down, we'll have it made. Fucking made, I tell you. Talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll want you along. And don't think I forgot your pay. A job well done is its own reward. But it doesn't pay for pussy at the local brothel, does it? I think that's the only time you hear the word pussy in this game. <laughs> so anyway, I, I think that there should have been, because I agree with you, Johnson. I agree with you. There, It makes sense that they would want to kill her, right? But also, there should be some kind of speech check or some way to convince them that she's dead or whatever it is. So is that a cut content restoration mod? Um, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I just find it to be more lore friendly. Um, and also it gives me the opportunity to do this quest because I, I never do this quest in any playthrough because I don't want to kill Cass because she's a companion and she's awesome. Of course I'm not going to kill Cass. Hello? <laughs> so now that we've done that, basically this is, we're able to continue with Birds of a Feather. Uh, and we can, con we can talk to Glory. Feels more D&D &D that way. Yeah, I don't like killing off friendly story NPCs. If she was a jerk, maybe I would go and kill her, but she's awesome. She's so cool. So this feels this feels more appropriate to how the game plays to me. So, all right, let's talk to Gloria. Good, you're here. Do you remember that package I had you deliver? Well, the client liked the sample and put in a massive order. It's possibly the biggest order we've ever supplied. I've had to repeatedly assure my mother that everything will go smoothly. And that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. GG. <laughs> we'll be bringing an escort, and I want you on it. What do you say? All right. Count me in. I've never done this quest. I've seen it done on YouTube. I've watched a video of it. But I've personally never done it, again, because I never kill Cass. So this is exciting for me. Perfect. We're still getting everything together, but I can always find a use for idle hands in the meantime. Once we're settled, we'll head out to the rendezvous point. All right, then we get a fade to black. We get automatically transported to this this area. I'm wearing the combat armor. They're taking an awfully long time inspecting the weapons. I'm beginning to think they're doing it just to unnerve us. Don't let them rattle you, though. 
The deal's almost done. There's just one last piece of business left. Speaking of which, I need you to listen to me very carefully. Things are about to get a little crazy. When I give the signal, follow my lead, okay? All right, let's do it. That's what I like about you. You follow orders, for the most part. Just remember to wait for the signal. All right, here we go. I trust you find everything acceptable? Everything seems to be in order. Kaisar will not soon forgive us. No, I imagine he won't. Oh! It's a trap. Fall back. Over here. I hit an NCR trooper? Oh no. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Why are the NCR troopers attacking me? It's friendly fire! Well, I don't think the reload. Eh, I think it's fine. I got NCR infamy, but they're it's fine. I didn't mean to attack them. It was a mistake, so I don't really care. Help! Hello? What? Oh, that's fine. That's Caesar's Legion. Get it, Edie. Go get her. Attack. Anyway. Good job. I need to work out some last minute details with our new clients, but after that, we'll head back to the rush. <laughs> Should I reload? I suppose you have a few questions. Should I reload? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> I just, I feel Hello? like, no, ah, I already reloaded. Just the per <laughs> All right. Hold on. Hey, this will take like two seconds. Two, Good, two seconds. You're here. Two seconds. An author I liked once described their opposition to killing as, when you kill someone, you remove the possibility from the- Aww. They're taking an awfully long- You remove their possibility from the world. I often feel similarly about NPCs I and games. I trust you find everything acceptable? Everything seems to be in order. You stealth boyed your way through? Not soon forget this. No, I imagine he won't. It's a trap. Fall back. Their commander like is that? down. Kill the rest. Okay, so the idea here is that, um, so the NCR are friendly to me, right? The idea is that Gloria was working with the NCR to, to basically ambush the Legion. And now we're attacking the Legion and I accidentally attacked, I accidentally attacked an NCR and they all went aggro to me. I don't even think they need my help. Really. I'm out of here. This is a cool fight though because there's all these like all these cargo containers. Which means that there's a lot of uh oops. There's like this like maze situation. It's really neat. Uh also I accidentally took way too much cred, hello. How am I overweight? What is happening? I'm like 
Quite barely doing any shooting at this point. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm still a wild child, but that's fine. So here we go. Okay, so they were not supposed to kill me. That was a mistake. <laughs> It's cool. It's a cool fight. I, I like it. And I hate that it's locked behind you killing an entire NPC. And these guys are still... Awake, I guess. Or, not awake. Alive. Good job. I need to work out some last-minute details with our new clients. But after that, we'll head back to the rush. Yeah, you really can just let them do all the work. It's hilarious. I suppose you have a few questions. Yeah, what the hell just happened? We made a lot of money, that's what. The Legion paid us to deliver weapons, and the NCR paid us to deliver the Legion. Or some of them, anyway. Caesar has been making overtures to prominent suppliers for some time now. Usually, they're too scared of him to cross him and just pay or flee. I saw an opportunity and negotiated a deal with the NCR. I helped draw some of their enemy's troops into a trap, and they agreed to buy from me. Normally, those stuck-up bastards wouldn't have anything to do with us, but their situation is precarious, and this chance was too tempting. I love it. I, she's such a brilliant businesswoman, and she's hot. Like, what could be better? Well, not exactly. The deal wasn't exactly sanctioned by my mother, but she'll come around when she hears about the profit I made. If she's smart, and she is, believe me, she'll turn this to her own advantage and make a bundle off our new connections in the NCR. It'll be all I can do to supply the NCR with the amount of weapons they want, so I'll be pretty busy for the foreseeable future. Oh, you're probably wondering if you still have a job. I don't have anything open at the moment, sadly. But we're going to need all the help we can get transporting guns to the NCR. So stop by every now and then, and I might have a delivery job for you. Oh, that's cool. And before I forget, here's your share of the take from the warehouse job. You can keep the armor. Thanks again for all your help. Hey, very cool. Okay. 1,000 caps. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, a level up, too. Ooh, what are my thoughts on the factions of the game? It's a good chance I need to stand up for a second. Do a little stretch. Um, I find the factions very interesting. The only faction I don't really like is the Legion. Uh, just because it's vi they're, they're a very black and white sort of group. I like the fact that the other factions are a lot more uh, of a gray area. Uh, I'm just going to bump this up to guns. 100... Sneak. Uh, and medicine. Um, I do recognize, though, that because Obsidian only had 18 months to work on this game, that they honestly didn't have time to finish off the Legion uh, as, a, as a faction. So I, I truly think that the Legion would have been a better faction if... Um, if Obsidian had had more time. Um, as for the rest, I tend to go, I tend to go towards the NCR ending, just because it feels like the lesser of two, three evils, four evils. Um, like, the NCR obviously has a lot of problems, and we get to see that a lot through the game, especially when you're doing the NCR quest lines. Uh, but in terms of benefiting the Mojave, I, I think that they're they're the better option than, say, House, who... House... It's hard, right? Because House does have a lot of good ideas, but he is ultimately out there just for himself and his benefit. Whereas the NCR is a is a vast like group of people rather than just one person, 
like they have their president yeah but they also have a lot of like commanding officers and various troops stationed in different areas it's not like it's just one person ruling so and then the same thing goes for the independent ending uh, if we went for yes man it would just be us ruling the strip and depending on what kind of person you are that could go uh, very badly <laughs> um so that's sort of the the vibe that i get i tend to go towards ncr but i've done all the endings personally at least once i think i've only done legion once on xbox 360. Weapon handling. Oh, I'm gonna get weapon handling. Let's go. Done. Hello. Then, uh, so now that we've done Birds of the Fe of a Feather, uh, we're gonna stab them in the back. We actually have already broken in to this area. They're not gonna mind that we're back here. And we're gonna grab this letter to Gloria, and we're gonna leave. So this is th this is what we need to um, indict them with the NCR. So let's check out those notes that we picked up. So this is the one we picked up from Alice McLafferty's office. This is an agreement between the Crimson Caravan Company and the Van Graffs to undercut or eliminate all other rival caravan companies in the region, such as the Gunrunners and Cassidy Caravans. In the case of Cassidy Caravans, Gloria Van Graff has agreed to use mercenaries against Cassidy Caravans to drive down the company's value, allowing Alice McLafferty to purchase the remaining assets at a bargain price. Okay, so it's all about it's all about the hustle with these people. They don't care they don't care about people. Alice McLafferty only cares about her business and only cares about money, and at this point, the Van Graffs are similar. Uh, Dear Miss Van Graaff, it has come to my attention that Cassidy Caravans have suffered a number of setbacks recently. I can only hope the latest unfortunate event dr uh, events drive that young booze hound of an owner to finally sell me her remaining assets. As per her agreement, I have bent my non -in not inconsiderable efforts toward weakening your competitors, the Gunrunners. You can expect a mysterious and sudden surge in sales in the near future. Sincerely, Alice McLafferty. So, those two are working together, and truly, they are businesswomen at heart, and that's basically all they care about, so. It is very, very obvious where, where they fall. Okay? In terms of loyalties. The NCR are basically the proxy for the Western democratic civilization, problems and all in this story. So it's hard not to see that as a lesser of most evils in a post-apocalyptic setting. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with with literally the Legion being a misogynistic, sexist, uh, slave-mongering, like, I mean, all of the worst things, except for, I guess, homophobia, because they let they let gay men in on their, their Legion. That's like the only good thing they have going for them. Like, they're literally the worst of the worst, right? And that's going up against the NCR, which, yeah, has its problems, but at least it's somewhat okay. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Thank you, Johnson. Yeah, I, I have been playing this game since the day it came out. I played it for a billion hours on Xbox 360. I have watched tons and tons of videos on it. My favorite right now is Many a True Nerd has been my favorite for years. He does a lot of really insightful content on the Fallout series. Um, I knew Vegas is also his favorite game, so I've learned a lot from watching his videos. Um, but yeah, it just like, I just love, I just love this game. It won't let women do anything these days. God. You find any evidence yet? I'm not gonna wait forever. Now, of course, if you want, you can just run and gun it. You could kill Alice, you could kill the Van Graffs, but I like doing it this way. It kind of tears them apart slowly. No shit. There it is. The blood, 
The motive as clear as day. They must have penned these with snake venom. But we got it. Now what? Sure, this damns them, but only if someone listens. Oh, you love Miniature Nerd too! That makes me so happy, Johnson. He is such a gem. Honestly, he deserves so much love. I, I absolutely love his content. I've really been enjoying, he's been playing Tale of Two Wastelands. Really, really fun. I've been really enjoyed that playthrough. It makes me want to play Fallout 3 again. Legion, misogynistic slavers who rape and kill. Freeside, street gangs. House, immortal mafia dawn. Yeah, that's actually a very good descriptor. <laughs> well, Jackson and the Mojave Outpost could get it to the folks in the West. I wouldn't trust anyone closer to the Colorado. And the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs have their heart back west. Not sure it'll do any good, though. Isn't the Van Graffs, aren't they also in Fallout 1 or 2? Does anybody know? Because Gloria mentioned her mother, and I want to say that I remember the Van Graffs existing in one of the previous games. All right, let's do it. Listen to what he has to say. Let's roll. Follow me, everything is all right. You can interact with them in two? Okay, cool. Very cool. That's what I thought. This game, more than it, Fallout 4 or Fallout 3, has a lot of references. And here's the slice of the world where NCR's hand starts slipping. What are you looking at? Yeah, they, this game mentions Fallout's 1 and 2 a lot more. Status quo isn't that all that great either, even if you removed the major factions, the collateral damage from their turf wars. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey! Been doing a lot of good work. Let's see, do I need anything repaired? Actually, my stuff is doing pretty well right now. I'm kind of surprised. Um... Yeah, no, we're good. Don't love the NCR. Yeah, I truly Appreciate don't either. Help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. <laughs> I have evidence of a caravan conspiracy. That's one way to say hello. <laughs> what is it? Let me see. All right, this is... This explains a lot of the lost caravans. I thought it was legion work, but... Can you get to the right people? I can, if you make me a promise. I need you to swear you won't take revenge on Gloria or Alice. If you do, then your case is over, and we can't see that justice is done. I know some things are hard to let go, but you and Miss Cassidy need to understand that. Hear me? Yeah, sorry. No, legion. Just assholes. You have our word. That'll have to do. God, what a mess. People turning against each other when the Mojave's at risk of falling? If the Republic's sinkhole progress doesn't kill us, greed will. Thanks for bringing me this. I know revenge must have been tempting. For what it's worth, I appreciate you didn't shed any more blood. We need to save our strength for the Legion. I'll do what I can. And those folks that got killed need to be answered for. All right. Well, that's settled, I suppose. You all right? Feels... I don't know. I guess I feel relieved. I don't know what I feel. Wait, that's not true. I think the NCR back west, when riled, yeah. is going to be the worst enemy the Van Graffs and the Crimson Caravan ever had. They're all so mired in procedure and paper out there. The kind of evidence we gave is going to be worse than shooting them. I think that settles accounts with me and my men. That was some tricky political maneuvering, but worth it, even if it takes a few years. Yeah. Yes, this game, the comma her perk, giving her a permanent health bonus. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's Cass's quest. First recons at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we got a chance. She doesn't get 
an upgrade to her, out her outfit, but honestly, look at it. It doesn't need an upgrade. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. She's brilliant. All right, y'all. Getting lots of stuff done. What the heck do I want to do? I'm very tempted to start an, uh, a DLC, but I think I might want to start a DLC at the beginning of a stream rather than in the middle of one. Hmm, let's see. We could go help Lily. Um, Valare, we need dry. Oh man, there's tons to do. Kind of want to go exploring. I don't know. If someone promised me all the lights of Vegas, I'd consider it too. But I wouldn't say yes until I saw what was behind the curtain. If you're sh All right. Yeah. I'm sending her back because honestly wandering in the wasteland with patrolling the Mojave companions is kind of nuclear winter. Kind of rough. Um they end up aggroing folks and it just gets messy. Okay. Do you have any of the special weapons? Um, I have some unique weapons if that's what you mean. I have Maria, I have Roxanne, which may or may not be in included. This may have been added by a mod that I have. Um, I don't have the Gobi sniper rifle. I could go grab that. Yeah, I, I honestly end up selling a lot of the, the unique weapons that I don't use. So I got Annabelle. I'm not using it. I sold it. Um, let me go talk to the actual, the, the merchant from here really quick. We could probably continue on some NCR quests. I kind of just want to explore, though. I don't know. Background? I've been doing so many quests the last couple streams, I just kind of want to wander, you know? I got my inventory here. Ooh, I know what to do. I know what we're doing. exactly what we're gonna do oh okay i'm excited and that and feed. Okay, so one of the mods that I have is called the New Vegas Interiors Project. Um, it turns out the sniper parts that I bought, I already have installed. So I actually don't, I didn't need those. And I bought them for nothing. <laughs> um, also, if you know of any locations of special weapons, I'm up for it. Um, I kind of, like I said, I kind of want to explore. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, one of the mods that I have is called New Vegas Interiors. It's really cool. It's very lore friendly, uh, which is why I like it so much. And basically what it does is it takes a lot of the... Hello? Hello? Oh. Had enough? Oh. Okay. It's just a prospector. And some random legion dogs. Okay. Okay. 
um, uh, the the mod <laughs> I got distracted, very distracted. The mod basically takes uh, locate like it takes uh, what's it called? Like buildings like this that are boarded up. And it opens them up and adds anterior cells to them. So I don't know if this is actually one of them. It might be, honestly. Yeah, I think it is. Ah! I'm out of ammo! Not like this! It's actually pretty easy to tell what's added by the mod because, yeah, there are these unique assets. Deck of cards, irradiated sigs, and these picture frames. Um... But yeah, I, I really like it because it, it adds some really interesting little interiors, um, some unique assets, sentry toy, ham radios, very cool. Uh, and I wanted to come to Searchlight specifically because the mod adds some really interesting uh, interiors here. So, And also I could always use more money. Honestly. I can't believe I'm out of... I'm, I accidentally sold my 9 mil ammo. <laughs> like a heckin' buffoon. So all of these buildings here... Are usually boarded up but the mod opens them up it's really really neat uh oh crimson caravan <laughs> oh my goodness so uh yeah just a couple of things here <laughs> Hello? Oh. Oh, that's cool. There's like feral ghouls with unique uh unique outfits. That's neat. Holy cow. Scary low poly hula girls. We love to see it. Gotta always take the garden gnomes. Very important. Anything else in here? Books. Scrap metal. I can give that to the boomers. Holy crap. Oh yeah, and unfortunately all this stuff is irradiated. So we can't even sell it or consume it. Hello? Hello? Oh. You have so many mods. What are your favorite mods? Johnson, I, I am always down to learn about new mods. I like immersion mods more than anything, but I don't mind ones that add some content if it's immersive. scrap in here but not really anything I need like a saucer toy that's cute honestly this will be a good place to scavenge because I am gonna eventually need more uh, money <laughs> I'm always in need of more money as far as I'm concerned B and K cleaners Ah! 
stuck on that. I especially like this mod, by the way, adding stuff to this location because it really makes it feel like it was inhabited before the Legion came through. Because obviously the lore is that this place got wrecked by a Legion bomb. A dirty bomb, as it were. Um, and that ruined the place completely. And it, it was... It was uh, originally NCR lived here, and... Now it's ruined. Armed to the teeth. Okay, I've never heard of that one. Hold on, let me write this down. To the teeth. What was the one you mentioned earlier? It was, um... What the heck was it? Scopes? Realistic scopes? I'll check it out for sure. By the way, in case you missed it, Johnson, um, if you want, feel free to join the Discord. Um, I have my mod list in there. Ooh. See, look, it's like a... It's a spot for, um, freaking cutting your hair. I can't talk. <laughs> Stefan's dandruff remover. I don't think I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Oh, there's so much of it. Stefan knew it was up. Oh, there's a lot of porno mags here, huh? Ah, uh, you Stefan? Sierra Madre chip. Okay. Love that we're consistently getting irradiated. Hey, Edie, hold my stuff. NVTS, that's what it was. Thank you. Does pre-war money do anything? No, um, well, actually, that's not true. You can either sell it, which is fun, um, or you can uh, exchange it for chips at the casinos. NVTS looks like how the Roman fanboys in the legions might spell nuts. God. Ah! Look at all these ghouls with their unique outfits. That's so cute. Oh god. I say actively murdering all of them. Yeah, surely there's nothing wrong with the su the <laughs> the supplies that are here. Yeah, nothing at all. Got lots of cred, huh? Oh, that 
that's cool. An ancient, very obsolete auto dock. So they included the auto dock, but didn't make it so that you can um, salvage it for parts for Caesar's Quest. Yeah, Johnson, I'd love that. If you just want to take a screenshot of your Vortex, I assume you use Vortex, um, but if you just want to take a screenshot of it and put it in the Discord, that'd be cool. We have a, a channel specifically for Fallout New Vegas if you want to put it in there. And if you're not on Discord, you can just whisper me. What is on... What is that? What? Oh, well this is sad. <laughs> Some cool assets, though. MO2, I'm not familiar. Oh, nice, Alex approved. Okay, critical rad poisoning. We should probably deal with that. Oh, nice. That's what you use for Skyrim. Very cool. Okay, I should probably not be hanging out in here for too much longer. a rabbit hole. Okay. Gotta be honest, uh, putting injured or sick people on the top bunk of a bunk bed is a very bad idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't do that. Let's you more easily toggle mods and avoid trouble and troubleshoot conflicts. That's cool. I can dig it. I ended up using Vortex just because I came from the Nexus mod manager and then there was more um, you know, tutorials out there for Vortex. Cool, nice little dungeon. Gotta be mindful of the rads. Mojave Express? Oh, hey! It looks... Oh my god. Exactly like the one in Prim. Well, not exactly, but... Mostly. Oh, that's cute. Oh, my lanta. Y'all are so loud! Hush. <laughs> Stop screaming. SA actively hacking them up. Radiation levels increased. I gotta be careful. Um. Yeah, nothing really in here. That's fine. There's a firehouse. There's a bar. Cup of Joe. Mo 2 could be confusing and overwhelming at first. Yeah, for sure. There's a chance I might go to it eventually, but 
right now Vortex is, is hitting just fine, so. Oh, little baby mole rats! Oh, they're so little! I'm sorry, little guys. Please forgive me. Yeah, all this food is irradiated. This is not... Uh, not usable. For me. I guess ghouls could eat it. Right? Kingman's Barbecue. Oh. What in God's name is that sound? Oh my God. Oh, it's, oh, it's fire and it's very loud. Oh my gosh. Well, that's cool. That's really cool. That's a very nice touch. Uh, it's very loud though, and I hate it. Oh God, the the rad the rads. <laughs> oh God, the rads. Oh, my rad away is doing like nothing. Oh no. Okay. Sam's auto parts. A couple more buildings here. Oh, that's very bright. Lots of junk. Lots of junk. Holy cow. place to get like scrap which is nice travel services oh, I wish we could look in these terminals A non-irradiated wastelander. There's a lot of really cute, unique assets. I like the garden gnomes. I'll take the garden gnomes. Okay. Alright. Let's get the heck out of here. Hey, thanks for following Unholy, <laughs> Unholy Celery. <laughs> Great name. Alright, I think this is the last building. Ugh. It's so hard for my heart to see a place like this that is completely irradiated. Meaning all of the like booze and everything that I could take and s Wait. The atomic cocktails are not irradiated. I can take those. <laughs> uh, but everything else is irradiated and I can't it's unusable. Oh, I could have a party hat. Nice. Always. But look at all this booze! It's all irradiated. Oh my god. 
Oh, I... Oh, no. Oh, no, the rads are very bad up here, y'all. Oh, no. <laughs> Did somebody say booze? Uh... Yeah... But... This is bad. Okay, we have to leave. <laughs> I'm so irradiated. We're out of here. It's irradiated, Celery. You don't want it. I promise. Alright, let's get the heck out of Dodge. That was good. I got a lot of loot from that. Um... I'll go heal myself up at Novak. Oh my gosh, I am Careful. so irradiated. All over. Hey girl. What can I do for you? Help. That's not so bad. I'll have you looking as good as new. I mean, what are the chances of me botching another routine procedure in the same day? <laughs> Maybe cancer booze isn't the way to go. All right, I'll just get my scalpel here. And, uh, did I leave that sitting outside? Well, you know what? Free tennis shot. I love Dr. Strauss. <laughs> oh, God. What can I do for you? I meant to deal with my rads and I didn't. Um... Are you sure? You won't be able to read in the dark as well. Ha ha. Okay. And remember, if this doesn't help, <laughs> try taking a bath in tomato juice. Who wrote her lines? I love it. All right, sell some cred, and then I think we just we choose another quest line to follow, shall we? All right, Edie, give me my cred. Oh, Edie has thirty dynamite on her. Okay. Hey, you came back. Must be doing something right. Hello. Welcome back. Can Why did I come back here knowing he doesn't have that much money? I am a fool. I'm a gosh darn fool. Oh, I'll take all that stuff. Um five five six. I'll take some more three oh eight. You know, I could grab I could grab Paciencia from him. It's a 308. It's a 308 rifle, but I already have my sniper. And Pacien does Paciencia have a scope? It has bonus crit and bonus crit damage and bonus crit chance. Um Damage 51 versus damage 64. So my sniper rifle is going to be better, I think. Maybe I'll just grab it. No? I'm very tempted. Well, I grabbed all that stuff from Edie and now I can't even carry it. It's a good weapon. Should I get it then? I feel like I Welcome should. Back. I feel like I've always wanted Paciencia in a playthrough. I don't know. I don't know. Let me let me know what you think. All right, Edie, take my stuff again. I guess we're just gonna wander around. Oh yeah, I have the destroyed party hat. Actually, yeah, I can um, I can go up to my suite here. She's pretty rifle. You make a compelling argument, Johnson. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna mosey on over to my sweet. I'm gonna go full RP on this. What should we do? What should we do from here? I do still kind of want to wander. And not just jump around doing quests. Okay, I need to get nine mil. I don't know if I need the centaur blood for anything, but I feel like I should keep it. For no real reason. It is eerily quiet <laughs> in the game. Classic inspiration. We can do that. Wild card. I am very tempted to start a DLC right now. If I did start a DLC, which one should I do? I think I'm going to do Sierra Madre last. So I'm considering picking any of the other ones. But for now, I'm going to do... I'm going to kind of start from the bottom and work our way up. Because uh, I did pick up this quest forever ago and I still haven't done it. Um... So let's deal with that, shall we? I am siding with the NCR, so I do want to help them out of their predicament. I can't believe it's already 3 p.m. quest. What are all those red ticks? What the heck? Oh, they're more legion. Okay. Wow, I cannot see anything. Hello? ED? Wait here, girl. shouldn't be laughing but 
Oh my god. We have a couple friends down there. Uh oh. They know I'm here. Not the katana. I have no idea how this is hard mode. Like, GG. Gee whiz, there are bodies here. I don't think there's anything significant over here. Really weird that there are so many legionnaires hanging out by all this radiation, but whatever. <laughs> when in doubt, panic bullet hose. Exactly, Alex. Exactly. Well, especially because I freaking got rid of all my 9 mil, otherwise I would have used that. Ooh, an explorer head. Alright, I'm over encumbered again, hello. Easy mode. For stim pack. Oh, hello. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. So somebody mentioned it last one of the last streams. Um I forgot to get the like best part of Vault 34. I think it was Vault 34. I freaking didn't even go into the armory because I got so lost in there and kind of forgot that it was there, honestly. Ooh. Come on. Armor piercing. This is perfect. <laughs> we Another kill to my name. Ah! No! My secret plan! 
We're good. <laughs> My cheese. You wouldn't dare. All right. Come on, you. I'm getting out of here. No kidding. <laughs> There's just an arm. <laughs> Yeah, welcome. Welcome, Celery. Oh, hey, there's another one. I'm getting out of here. Are you a, a big New Vegas fan? I assume you are if you're here. Oh my gosh, my eye won't stop itching. Hello. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Some NCR fool gave us this quest like a billion years ago. I live for Fallout. Yes, you're in the right place, Celery. What's your favorite game, though? This is an important question. What'd you miss? Um, I blew up some Legionnaires with a big, big gun. So that was fun. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things to do. I can at least trust Edie uh, with my freaking frag grenades and mines because I know that she's not going to throw them. Because if you give them to anybody else, then they will use them. Yes, as I'm sure anybody could tell, and I have said many times, Fallout New Vegas is my favorite Fallout game. But I am curious. I I, I remember somebody earlier First mentioning Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we've got a chance to hold it. I think it was Panda, Pop Tart Panda came in, and they they were saying that Fallout Four is theirs, their favorite. So any word on my friends? Yep. I did what you couldn't. I was worried Alexis had already thrown them down a mine shaft. I'll run by camp to see how they're doing when I get a chance. Thanks for the help. All right. Love to see it. I'm going to put down my bedroll. Oops. I'm trans. My favorite is Vegas, of course. Of course. And we're gonna go wandering into the desert. That's one of my favorite things about this game is if you don't feel like doing any, doing any quests, Morning. you literally can just walk into the desert and and run into something fun. Okay, so let's go. We could head towards Brockflower Cave. We haven't been there yet. I'd like to discover all the locations, too. That's an achievement. Um, so southwest. I hope these aren't Cazadors. Please, oh god, don't be Cazadors. I am hearing shooting. Oh, that's fine. <clears throat> oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. I underestimated the fire-breathing lizards. Fair enough. <laughs> Hello.
Yeah, maybe we can avoid the fire breathing lizards. Okay, we've been up there. Did I say southwest? Yes, I did. I did know that celery. It's one of my favorite things. Does it work for mines? You know, I actually didn't know that that worked for mines. That is very fun. What is this orange tick? Oh, it's a legion. That's fine. I'll have to try that at some point, Celery, because I've always known you can do it, but I almost never will, like, deal with pickpocketing in this game. It's like reverse pickpocketing, so it kind of counts. Is that affected by your sneak skill? I want to say it is. Then in the past, it's great fun. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I almost never take pickpocket. Or, like, deal with pickpocket in this game. Yeah, I guess we just have some Legion backup. That's cool. What are these red ticks? Ooh. Are they trying to come up here? They might be. I don't know if they can. Hello? There we go. Oh, that's what I needed was hollow point. Come at me, scrubs. Oh, there's Edie! Hi, Edie! Extremely satisfying. Where is this red tick? Ah. We got and fought. Dehydration. Save yourself. I gotta get undehydrated. Alright, I need to get back up these cliffs. And there's another red tick. Okay. Oh, it's a baby!
I really don't need any of this stuff, but I'm gonna take it anyway. A wild holly appears! It's true. Not only that, but she's... She may have even been here all along. Oh, I don't know if I can get up this sledge. Come on, Fallout New Vegas. Let me have this one. Come on, baby. Let me up. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Fallout New Vegas. There we go. <laughs> Took her a second. Yeah, we're like right on the edge of the map here. Because this, uh, the Colorado here blocks us off from going anywhere else. Come on, New Vegas. Alright, anything cool here? I don't know if I've ever been here. Oh! I'll take a star bottle cap. Always. Some gecko steak. Cool. Alright. I'm in it for a, uh, a star bottle cap. Actually, how many star bottle caps do we have now? Forty-six! We need four more to complete the quest. That is so very close. Alright, might as well keep heading south. Ooh, is this their cave? Gecko cave? Have I been in here? What is this? Hello? Video game? Okay. Can I not? Is this not a... Oh, this is very spooky. Uh, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> That's very scary. Um... All right, then. Okay, cool. So here's the, uh, here's Cottonwood Cove. I tried to go in. It wouldn't let me. Where is the Gobi sniper? I know it's on this ledge somewhere. There's a sniper's nest up here. I feel like I want to grab it. This is probably a little bit better than what I have right now. Oh god. Not like this. Oh no. Oh no. This might be the end. Oh no. It's fine. We're good. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, I thought maybe I had been to the sniper's nest, but I have not. That must be it then, over there. We're fine. We're just heading full sprint down a, a steep cliffside. We're fine. Oh, I cannot wait to absolutely decimate all of the Legion camps. And go in and destroy Caesar. It's going to be very fun. I'm holding off, though. I'm not going to do it just yet. Oh, that's irradiated water. That's new. Oh, I should probably drink something. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be fine. Hold on. Everybody calm down. There's a perfectly good lake of water right here. As long as I don't die in the ten seconds it takes me to walk over there. See, everything is fine. And it's perfectly safe to drink. No radiation. Beautiful. See? 
y'all worried for nothing. Where's that sniper's nest? It's up there somewhere. Honestly, this is kind of a great time to just wander around and look for locations. Anything on the bottom? Well, at, my character's covering the compass, but anything in the bottom compass with a filled in triangle is a location that we've already discovered and then anything with a triangle that is empty in the middle is a location that we have not discovered so I usually tend to gravitate towards those triangles and now I'm gonna hop my way up eh, eh. steep ledge Here we go. Star bottle cap, we love to see it. Got some 308 and a quick locksmith's reader. Oh! Got it in one, baby. Let's freaking go. All right, let's check this thing out. I really love this gun because it is beautiful. Bonus crit damage, bonus crit chance. Now, if I remember correctly, ooh. Wow, pretty. If I remember correctly, it um cannot, you can't install mods onto it. I could be wrong though, because it's a unique weapon. I wish you could though, because then it could be even more badass. But in the base game, this rifle is actually like bright gold, which is kind of hilarious considering it's supposed to be a sniper. Um, I have a weapon mesh mod that makes it this cool, this cool camo color, which makes way more sense for it being a sniper. Very nice, very nice. So what do we got? So this is damage 50 and this is damage 44. So actually this is gonna be good it's going to be better than what I have right now until I um until I get all the mods for the regular one. What is attacking me? Oh god, hello. Hello? Oh god, fire. Come back! Come back! Eh, I hardly knew her. Should probably quick save. <laughs> it's been a minute. The geckos are so good. They're very cute, cute little friends. I haven't actually been up here yet. Let's grab these. There's a couple of locations in this little valley here. You just run like ah. Mouth open, ready to chomp. Oh, that's sad. Oh no. Can I save you? Oh 
Okay, I have a reason. I have a reason. I only kill these people because there's literally no other option. And it says if you remove them, they'll die anyway. So I just kill them. Uh, which is very sad. But I feel like it's humane. Me getting over encumbered from taking too much alcohol? I could never. My character taking too much alcohol? My character having 26 dirty waters? Hello? And 14 gecko steaks? My god. Oops. In my mind, my Jean, my character, Jean is a whiskey kind of guy, so I always have whiskey on me. I could never. <laughs> I'm the world's greatest hacker. <laughs> Um, Legion are coming. Dawn, I have to keep this short. We would see the Legion coming towards the distance. They're crossing the effing river. And beside myself, I don't think there will be time to get out. Willie isn't here and I won't leave without him. If we do get a chance to make a break for it, I'll be heading to Novak. Look for us there, love Betty. It's too late. Dawn, no time, my god, no time. Willie didn't get home until the bastards had already landed. I'm not going to be a slave... Again, it took me 10 years to escape last time. I can't go through that again. You're all taking the easy way out. Oh, please forgive me. I'll miss you, my love. Don, I'm leaving you all my worldly possessions, although I doubt you'll be able to retrieve most of them in the event you get this. I also have a safe in the vault in Boulder City and Sierra headquarters. The key is in the comma. So sleepy. Now I've got to lay down. It's sad. Key. Key. The key is in the... The key is in the... The key is in the... Probably don't need a key, honestly. Alright y'all, I hate to do it because I really want to keep streaming, but I'm getting pretty hungry and my body needs to move around. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. This has been a blast. Um, all, my, all my VODs up until this one have been uh, uploaded to YouTube, so if you've missed any action, check that out. Um... Feel free to join the Discord and follow if you haven't already. We have a follower goal happening. Once we reach that goal, we're going to do a giveaway, which is very exciting. I'm I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, let's find somebody to raid. On site. Oh, you... Who is streaming? Quite a few people are streaming. Let's see, who's streaming New Vegas? Two. Oh, this person's doing a completely blind, hard playthrough. That's exciting. Let's go ahead and visit them. Their name is Puppet Yoda, so they've got to be cool. Either.
I did not mean for that to be all caps, but guys, stick around for the raid. Give Puppet Yoda some love. Stick around for some channel points, and I will see you guys um maybe tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow, depending. It might it might be Friday before we stream again, but grab your bebos, everybody. <laughs> all right. Bye guys. Take care.